In this video we are going to be creating a node programmatically. What is a node? In Drupal, the node is the most popular piece of content. We are going to be using the devel execute PHP to create a node and with the help of devel we are going to be inspecting the node structure. So here we have a Drupal instance installed and let's search for Drupal node entity node and we're going to find something from api.drupal.org and we can simply switch to the latest version it's six core and we're going to use this page as a reference on what we can do to create our node so in our Drupal instance we're going to go under devel and execute PHP and first we're going to set the namespace so we simply say use Drupal node entity node and then we're going to be using the static create method so if we search for create we see that there is here the create method it's obviously being inherited from the entity class so let's go ahead and say node equals node create and I happen to know that it expects to be as an array and first we say the type equals a content type and the content type that we want to use we'll open the structure tab in a new tab and we're going to go under content types and article and here in the URL we see the machine name of the article so let's go ahead and use it here. Obviously we're going to be creating an article node and let's go ahead and say node and we could use the set method in order to set values. So let's go ahead and say set title to our shiny new new node and we could use the force the enforce is new let me go ahead and search for it and force is new so if we search for it there we go let's go ahead and say node enforce is new and we can just go ahead and say node save in order to save the node and now if we just execute let's quickly go to content and we see that there is nothing here but as we execute this bit here yes green empty message that usually means everything's fine and if we refresh we see that a new node is being created we can go ahead and edit it and we see that the title is our shiny node and we have also a body field so we can basically add also body in the body we have format so we basically there we have to give value and format let's go ahead and create a node with body our shiny new node with body so let's go ahead and say node set this would be a new node and we're going to be adding also a body field and here we are passing an array and in the array basically we can say v 
value and for value we can put something random la, 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 la. and then for format we can simply say basic HTML keep in mind that it's possible that in your Drupal instance you don't have basic HTML but obviously in this one there is basic HTML and I'm just using it usually under configuration and text formats and editors you see what kind of text editors you have and for basic HTML you see here at the top that the machine name is basic HTML that's perfect so theoretically if we just execute this bit here no there's something wrong I think I know I just forgot here to keep the clean syntax and if we go under content again looks quite good our shiny new node with body and if we edit it we see that also the body field has a value let's go ahead and create a new node that is not published so obviously if you're not explicitly saying that you want it unpublished it is publishing it but let's go ahead and say now that we want our shiny new node with body unpublished and if we just go ahead and say node status equals zero and if we execute it again we see that now we have a new node and it's not published so in order to get ideas what you can set in addition you can simply go to the node edit page and there is a develop tab so if we just click under develop there is the structure so if we want to change the language basically you can check here or you can set the UUID you can do it as well for example if you want to promote it to the front page or something like that I usually like more the output of the Kint module so let's go ahead and print the note here if we have the kint module installed and we'll see all the methods that we have so the well kint is activated so we can simply use it let's go ahead and say kint and note and then just die and if we execute we see the output of kint and here we see the values that we can set we see the methods so we see here the set method is supposed to be somewhere here you see set name value uh, you can use all the methods the way you like it you can simply take a look at the output of kint and study the node object from here so if you like this video please check the links in the description subscribe please don't forget to click the bell icon in order to get notifications for new videos that i post every monday thanks for watching